Lego finally did a spaceship that's not Star Wars and it's seriously awesome. Please do more. Tied closely together with the upcoming summer release of Disney Pixar's movie Light Here, Lego is doing a brand new theme featuring three different sets. Zyklops Chase and the two I'm reviewing on this video, Zerg Battle and XL15 Spaceship. But before I go into the good stuff, let's just take a quick look at Zerg's battle first. It seems that Zerg going into this film changed design dramatically when compared with its Toy Story appearance. He is now a legged mech, while still keeping some of its iconic features, like the head which can be turned and is a brand new element and the mainly purple color scheme. There is a lot of freedom in his leg and arm joints to move and pose him as you'd like, and the leg movement is somewhat limited due to the pieces used on the knee area, so he won't fall a lot. Most of the detailing was achieved with the use of stickers, which depending on the set I won't mind all that much, but in this case, considering the set's low piece count, I found myself having to stop the build 18 times to place a sticker, which I didn't particularly enjoy. There's however some brick build detailing in the torso area which was great to build and there's also this printed 2x2 inverted round element which looks really cool and useful for sci-fi custom builds. The set also comes with this small robot which was a surprisingly clever build. The detailing once again was achieved due to the use of stickers but in this case makes a lot more sense and I kinda want to build an army of these for some weird reason. Finally, the minifigures. Buzz and Easy's outfits look great and are mostly similar but with a few differences. The most obvious one is Buzz with his wings on the back, all printed with great level of detail. Both figures come with two heads, one with pilot head covers in light purple and then regular heads with air pieces and double sided expressions. Both wear the iconic lime green shoulder piece and their torsos are pretty much similar except for Buzz's right arm which as I'm assuming is laser weapon. There's also Cox the cat and some sort of container with a crystal inside, printed element which I'm sure must be important to the story plot of the movie. Zerg's battle is overall a decent playset with cool mechs and really good minifigures. 261 pieces for a $30 price point isn't the best LEGO deal ever though. And the stickers were a bit much for my taste, so there's that. But let's not fool ourselves, the highlight of today's video is the XL15 spaceship. I'm not joking when I'm saying this is by far my favorite LEGO spaceship LEGO has done in recent years. The box art looks amazing and almost like an 18 plus set given the darker look, even though this is only an 8 plus set. And even though it's not shown in the front of the box, the set also comes with a stand to display the spaceship with a plaque with some info in the same style as you would see it in Ultimate Collector Series models from Star Wars. Before I jump into the model, a quick look into the minifigure selection. All very sci-fi-ish, which I like and find super useful for custom builds. The helmets on Morrison and Steel look a bit menacing even though I believe these guys to be Buzz's friends. They come with air pieces for you to place if you remove the helmets and they have double printing on them. Morrison seems to have a fire torch tool of some sort while Steel is holding a massively oversized gun, complete with a stud shooter element. This set also features the cat Cox and the crystal container and finally we have Buzz in a pilot costume. This time around he is provided with a helmet, there's a headpiece with a light blue head cover and the shoulder piece is this time around grey, with slightly different prints if compared with the lime green variant. He also has an alternative head element complete with air piece. Now, the highlight of the set clearly is the spaceship. The color scheme looks really good with mostly white, grey and this shade of blue topped by this new trans yellow canopy which I'm sure classic space LEGO fans will be really happy about. It's a very weirdly angled chip which is always a challenge to make out of a squared brick based system like LEGO. But the way everything flows together so nicely with hardly any gaps at the joints was really really great to see come together. This is especially true in the wing sections and the engine intake vents, where everything looks really weird during the build but then is closed off in such a simple yet genius way, hiding away all of the structure and gaps. So, so good, props to the LEGO designer who worked on it. There isn't a lot to talk about the cockpit section other than the previously mentioned trans yellow canopy, a printed element for the dashboard and Buzz fits inside comfortably as he should. 
The back section of the ship is another highlight of the model where there's some very nice piece usage for the gribbling details, like the engine elements made with what I believe to be some sort of Lego Technic element I've never seen before. The only downside to me being the fact that it is not locked in place and can spin around. And down here some Lego City car suspension elements I think for a bit more texture. There's also two hatches where we can store both the crystal container on the one down here and Buzz's computer on the top one. Computer which was built with repurposed Lego book elements with a printed tile for the keyboard and a sticker for the screen. The set does have its fair share of stickers but less than the ones the Zerg's battle set had and I don't mind them all that much when the amazing building techniques more than make up for it. It's not often that I say this about a LEGO set, but this one in particular, if you're into spaceships and sci-fi themes in general, is a must-have purchase for your collection. It looks amazing, the minifigure selection is great, the build for a set this size is seriously impressive, filled with really cool building techniques, and that $50 for 500 pieces isn't that bad of a deal. We'd love to hear what you guys think about these sets in the comment section below, and I'll see you on the next video.